Good morning. We are living in one of the most amazing time in the human history. There has never been a time in the human history where individuals and entrepreneurs like you and I are able to do things that only the superpowers could do before. So imagine when a humble man from a humble beginning from India can dream and land on the moon, what else is possible for us to be able to do? When we land on the moon next year, not only we become the first private company to do so, we actually become the fourth superpower. Think about that for a second. Only three superpowers have ever landed, landed on the moon and we become the fourth superpower. What it goes on to tell you is that you and I and every entrepreneur listening to this has a chance to become the next superpower. Every industry that we know of today is going to be disrupted. And the reason it's going to be disrupted is because entrepreneurs today have the tools and the technologies at their disposal to be able to do those things. Let me give you a couple of examples. What is making it possible is that every single technology that we know of, whether it is uh, artificial intelligence, the sensors, everything that's making our iPhones thinner, cheaper, and faster are exactly the kind of things that is gonna create the landing on the moon, that's gonna create the abundance of food, that's gonna create the abundance of water, is gonna create abundance of land, is gonna create abundance of healthcare, and is gonna create abundance of education. And I'm going to give you some of the examples of how that is going to happen and how everyone can go out and be part of this revolution. The idea is not to watch the history being made. The idea is to go out and make the history. And you and I can do that. We don't need the superpowers. We don't need the governments because governments are not going to be solving our problems. If you look at the healthcare in the United States, we had Obamacare, that's not working. And now we're gonna have a Trump care, that's even a bigger disaster. And then we're gonna have a Putin care, that's gonna be even a bigger disaster. Ultimately, it's going to be someone, an entrepreneur says, enough is enough. We are gonna go out and solve the problem. So imagine what are the problems in healthcare, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about education and space, if we have time. In the healthcare, Everyone who is the professional, a medical doctor, is looking at the problem completely differently. Even the person who graduates today from the medical school believes that we as humans are healthiest when we get rid of every bacteria and virus from our body. What they don't realize is we are mostly a microbial society. We are walking, talking, climate. We are an ecosystem in ourselves. I am not a doctor, but I can tell you the things that I learned are absolutely mind-boggling. That we look at ourselves as human, and the number of genes that are expressed by the human DNA is around 20,000 genes. The microbes in our gut produce somewhere between 2 million to 10 million genes. Think about that for a second. We are less than 1% human, we are 99% microbial. Every single time that you look at who we are, we are our microbiome. Our microbiome controls who we are. Now let me give you some examples. Every single chronic disease that we know of, from Parkinson's, Alzheimer, you look at autism, you look at depression, you look at anxiety, you look at obesity, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, cancer. Every one of these diseases has one thing in common, chronic inflammation, and every one of them is caused by microbiome. Think about that for a second here, that every chronic disease is caused by microbiome, and every time we take antibiotics, you're killing all of those microbiomes. And a lot of the people say, I know about microbiome, what is so unique about it? What has really changed in the last 12 months is, today we have a power now to analyze not only what is inside our gut, we are able to find out exactly what they are doing. 
So far, the only microbiome technology that was available so far was something called 16S. So if you ever did a microbiome technology, microbiome service, anytime you used it, go to the website. If they say 16S, consider it's absolute junk. It is a 20-year-old technology that's complete waste. The latest wave is called transcriptome. That means looking at the RNA of what is being done. Imagine if you can find out, instead of treating like a body as a black box, what if you can find out what is exactly going on? What if you know what vitamins they are producing? What are the compounds they are producing that's going to cause inflammation? What if the food was the next drug? There is no such thing as universal healthy diet. A diet that's good for you, it won't be good for me. And a diet that's good for me today won't be good for me three months from now because our microbiome is constantly changing. Our microbiome, to some extent, controls our brain through the vagus nerve is constantly communicating back and forth. In fact, our, these bugs in our gut, they are like a puppet master. They're pulling the strings. They tell our brain when we are hungry, they tell us what we crave. So when you want to eat chocolate, don't blame your brain, blame your microbiome. It's my microbiome wants it, right? That's what it is. Interesting thing is, they communicate and they interfere with your microRNA in your brain in the amygdala and prefrontal cortex. That means they control our emotional behavior and they control our decision making. They in fact modify the gene expression of our human genes. That means it's not even what our D DNA tells us. Our DNA simply is a potential of what could happen. Our gene expression tells you what is actually happening. And these guys control what is being expressed. So in fact, last month there was a study done, the breast cancer is being caused directly by microbiome. And here was very interesting. Not only the cancer is being caused by microbiome, the last week there were two studies came out. Whether the chemotherapy actually works or it kills you depends on your microbiome. And second part was immunotherapy, whether it works or it is completely useless, that depends on your microbiome. So it's really to some extent, the Hippocrates said, all disease start in the gut. That was 2,000 years ago. One man's food is another man's poison. That's what he said. And that is coming true today. So interesting thing is all I can tell you is when your mother says to you, listen to your gut, do your gut check, that is the best science advice you can ever hear. So your mother is a scientist. She knows what she's talking about, right? Coming back to it is ultimately we're going to realize that our human body is just like a climate. Anytime you change anything in that climate, our, you know, everything is impacted. And we have trillions of microorganisms in our gut. When the baby is born through C-section, you're depriving that baby of the microbiome that comes through the baby when he goes through the birth canal. Every time you feed the baby, the first seven days of the breast milk is not designed to feed the baby. It is, can only be digested by the microbiome. Think about that for a second. The first seven days of the breast milk, the colostrum, cannot be digested by the offspring. It can only be digested by the microorganisms. What is nature telling us? Nature is telling us that if you want the baby to be healthy, it's better not to feed the baby, but rather feed the microbiome that's going to keep the baby healthy. And all I can tell you is that the science is so clear that every disease starts in the gut and we treat our body like a black box. And that's the reason I started this company called Wyom. This technology came out of Los Alamos National Lab where the United States spent hundreds of millions of dollars developing it for the biodefense work. They wanted to know if there's some bad actor were to get hold of something biological, how would we know what's making us sick? They are able to look at every single thing that's happening inside the body. What genes are being expressed by your mitochondria? What genes are being expressed by your bloods? What genes are being expressed by microbiome? And it looks at all of that with artificial intelligence and tells you exactly what food to eat and what food to avoid. 
For example, I was told I was trying to lose weight and my blood glucose was pre-diabetic. I was told to avoid all the carbs, so I was eating absolutely no carbs. I was eating spinach, avocado, lentil, legumes, tofu because I'm a vegetarian. When I did my Wyoming test, it turns out my diet needs to be mostly carbs and I need to avoid spinach, I need to avoid avocado, I need to avoid the lentil, legumes and tofu. I need to be eating mostly carb diet. Who would have thought about that? Every girl in this room probably wants my microbiome, doesn't they? Right? Everybody wants to eat more carbs, right? That's me, right? I'm loving it. Not only through that diet, I lost weight, my blood glucose came down. My advice to you again is don't fall for any fat diet. One day it's the Atkins diet, next day it's a paleo diet, then it's a ketogenic diet, then it's a lactin diet. None of these diets were gonna work for everyone. A diet that might work for you today in three months from now is going to be actually being harmful to you because when you eat one diet, you're only feeding one set of microbiome and everything else is dying and it's all about the balance. You can't just get rid of one species and only feed the other species. You have to keep the balance. The balanced microbiome creates a balanced body. When your body is at ease, you don't get disease. And so my moonshot and having done the moonshot of going to the moon, as I was mentioning, the first company and the only company that has permission to land on the moon. There has never been a private company that has ever been given a permission to leave Earth orbit. So when you hear about everyone doing space, the Richard Branson and Elon Musk, every one of them is still in the suborbital space. Not a single company has permission to leave Earth orbit and land on the moon. So I know about the moonshot. What is our moonshot with the health is really simple. Imagine living in a world where illness is optional. Imagine if you have a control of your own body, you have control of your own health, and what if you can become the CEO of your own health? What if we can give you all the information that you need and you can act on it and you can do something about it? All I can say is if you had a pimples on your face, you will be running around trying to find a fix. The inflammation in your body is like your pimples. What if we can show you the pimples inside your body and tell you what is going on inside your body? By the time you see the symptom, it is already too late. It takes 15, 20 years to develop a chronic disease, but it happens 15, 20 years in the gut before you see the Parkinson's in your brain, before you see Alzheimer, before you see depression or obesity. So all I can say is please don't treat your body like a black box, take control of your own health, become the CEO of your own health, and thank you very much.